Hey, hi everyone, this is Vivek and welcome to this particular video of rollbacks on Union Find. This is the second video of this Advanced Ideas DSU series and if you have not checked out the previous videos on the channel, there is this basic video on Union Find if you don't know what that is all about, Union Finds and DSU is what the ideas are. And in this Advanced series, we're going to talk about three different ideas. The second one that we're talking about right now is rollbacks. So the previous video is on weighted Union Finds. So check that out if you have not done that. But for now, let's move into move forward and talk about rollbacks, right? Now this is this one interesting idea that I have seen like quite some time in a lot of problems as intermediate ideas or sometimes um, like even used as the main idea. So what this essentially asks is that union find generally has these two functions, right? Find and unite, wherein we have to find which set this particular element lies in the like leader of that particular set. And unite means essentially like merge the two sets all together. We essentially try to merge the leaders of those two sets to some degree using path compression, rank compression, all these things. Now, what we want to do is add support of rollback. What rollback essentially allows us to do is like, let's say you, we united two different sets and we then had some find calls and other things, and then we can roll back back into the previous state in which the like configuration was. That's what the rollback is all about. So let's quickly talk about what does this mean? So let's say we have this particular set of elements, one, two, three, four, and then like we want to unite, let's say one and two, this is how the links kind of get formed. Then let's say we unite three and four, so this is how the link gets formed. Then we kind of unite two and four, so the like uh, two and four, two's leader is one, three's four's leader is two, so three, so three gets merged into one. This is how let's say the union find looks like. And this is the kind of flow that the union find goes through. And you can understand that this is actually like, let's say the state one, state two, state three, state four, that, that the process goes into, right? And what we want to do is like kind of this, there's the states that kind of it goes through. And what we want to do is we want to kind of make sure that we can go back the states, like from S4, we can go back to S3, from S3, we can go back to S2 and so on, right? Uh, supporting every union find operation that we have been doing till that point in every states at whichever state we are currently at. So essentially what we have over here is, let's say if you have one, like one, two, three, four, uh, when we unite one and two, we essentially get like two's parents becomes one. So this is the parent array that we have in the union find, right? Let's first focus on parent array. We have the rank array and other things as well, but those things can be handled separately. I mean, it's going to be very similar logic, but if we can handle the parent, we'll be able to do that. Uh, let's like quickly understand how the parent works. So this is how the parent array is changing over the process, right? A four's parent becomes three and then three's parent becomes one. So this is the chain that kind of gets formed four to three, three to one. That, that's how like you have the chain over here, right? Now, how do we actually support rollback, right? Let's write this over here. How do we support rollback? So the main idea that we can think of is first of all, maybe uh, save the whole parent array because this is the parent array, right? And uh, like we can try, try, try and save the whole parent array that is there in this particular state and then save the parent array over here, save the parent array over here, maybe something like vector of vectors, like vector of the array itself and then save the array in that vector. And then when we are done with this state, when we want to roll back, then delete the current state and restore back the previous array state. But the problem with that is that this array size is up till N and we might go like, like Q by two number of queries till like some unite, 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 and then we can roll back, roll back, roll back. So essentially it can go up till Q into N, order Q into N if you want to roll back because you have to replace all those N elements with the previous element. Uh, now note that uh, you might think, okay, just few changes might be uh, fine, but the way path uh, rank, uh, sorry, the path compression works is that if you have a path compression and you make a find call, you all the way change all the parents for all the elements in that chain, right? So it, that can actually become an order N for one specific move. And if you revert that back, it can be the whole array change. So on an armatized basis, it's obviously order log in if you just have path compression. So that makes it like on an average low, but if you just think about just one of the operations and then maybe we do that and then revert, do that and revert. So on the worst case, it can make the whole process as order uh, N into Q altogether, right? So this is something which is a problem, which is problematic. And uh, this is something we have to think about. We cannot really store the whole parent array and uh, path, comp uh, path compression is making a lot of difficulty. So let's have a look at how we can do this, right? So this is the final state that we are at. So what we can, like, this is the final state from this one. This is exactly the same as this. We want to revert back from this, right? So how can we do that? Uh, maybe what we can do is when we are over here, we can say that, okay, the stack size is zero. And this is the stack, which we are going to maintain, which is going to uh, save the changes. Okay. 
let's try to see if we just save the delta changes between the things like what is the change from the previous parent array to this array then we can kind of maybe uh, change something so from this we can say that if we unite one and two what happened was the two's value became one so if i save two comma two over here right two comma two it is says that two's initial value was two right and uh, but that got changed to one so let's let's continue Three's unite four so four's parent was three so four initial value was four it got changed to three then okay so we are we are saving the previous value before the update right now in this case let's say two four the update is over here so the previous value of three was three and then it got updated to this right now note that when the size was zero it was version zero when the size was one it was version one version two version three right uh, now once we have this particular array let's say we now need to revert back revert back one step so let's say we see the first element it says that the third element three elements value was three so we can kind of go ahead and like make sure that we uh, up update back this three to this three and then we remove this off the stack and you can see that we actually reverted back this one operation right do it one more time like let's say we want to re like set four to four and then pop this off from stack we essentially reverted it back into this particular thing and do it again and you essentially revert it back to the whole thing right so if you just keep the position and its initial value that was there for that in that position and we revert using that that is obviously a good way to like handle the changes but the problem with this is uh, we might have path compression making a problem right so essentially what can happen is in this case if you do a let's say unite six and five when you in the unite we know we call find of five what is going to happen is that find is gonna find like uh, find is gonna make uh, the call and the changes are gonna be something like this two is going to remain to one obviously this is going to happen like some six to one merging is going to happen so, initial parent of six to six was there but this merging was there now initial parent of three was to two but it got it will get changed to this Four's initial parent was three, but it, it got changed to one. So four's initial parent was three, five's initial parent was four. And all these changes, kind of this was the initial version one. After these many changes, you will get the new version, version two, right? These are the changes that happens in the structure. Now, if I just quickly ask for a rollback, you will have to go through all these elements and revert them back. And then again, if I just quickly unite the same thing, you will all again put all of these things again in the stack. And this number of changes that can be there can be pretty high, okay? So in this particular process, it might become order n, uh, order n per query, and uh, essentially it will become order n into q. The, so the delta idea is pretty good, but the path compression is making it very difficult because when you're merging, this is fine. This is only one change, but this path compression is making it pretty high in complexity. So what we can do is don't use path compression. We learned this, right? That when we have path compression and uh, rank compression, if you use both of them, we have an upper man function, which is very, very low. But even if we don't have path compression, if we just use rank compression, right? We are going to be getting uh, a n login solution, which is generally fine for a lot of problems, right? So just use rank compression. That should be enough. So just to be sure what we are talking about, uh, don't use path compression. Just simply let the recurrence follow the path and then get to the parent and then return it. And when you're using the like updation, when you're doing the changes, what we do is when you, when you have the parent, when you want to make parent of a to y, right, this is y, and then rank of y is going to become equal to. So the two changes that is going to happen when you merge this is parent of a is becoming going to become y and rank of y is going to become R1 equal to equal to R2. If that is the case, then R1 plus one or else R1 only, right? This is going to be the case. So if this is the scenario, uh, how do we actually go ahead and uh, model this now? So what do we do? Think about this. You have this stack over here, right? And you have this particular thing. You're kind of merging this one over here. This is let's say X and there is this bunch of, so fine calls are going to go all till the point and it's going to require this. This is R1 and R2. So what we can do is like, see the change is happening at parent of Y is going to become X and rank of X is going to change something like, so initially it was like this Y and X 
x had its parent as x this and this was the parent array and the rank array was something like this this is r2 and r1 right and after the change this is gonna contain x this is gonna contain x as well this is gonna contain r2 only and this is gonna contain some new value some new value right so in the stack we can and now this is the state that we are at and we we need some element in the stack to kind of get us back to this right we need some element in the stack to get us back to this so how do we handle that so think about it pause the video over here think about what do we put in the stack minimally so that we can kind of revert back to this so what i can think of is at this point we know that we need to change the value of y right now when we want to change the value of y we know the parent of current value of y is x right and uh, it will be changed back to y itself because it, it must have been some leader it, uh, element right so that is something we need to push and this is obviously y this is obviously x and this like the previous what was the previous value of the rank of x if you put these two elements into it right in the current state you know that what is the parent of y like we can get this parent array and in that you can get the value of x using parent of x so with y you know the current parent of y which is x x you can get using parent of y right you can set the rank of x equal to the second value that you have saved in the stack which is r1 and then you can change parent of y is equal to y if you just revert these things using the two elements that we have y and r1 then you can simply get the previous state from this to this right and for every unite that we are doing every merge that we are doing right we essentially just merge two things we use the find call make a login call to the till the root and then merge them but then after that there is going to be just one change which is going to happen so it's just a delta change like a very small change altogether and that can be handled neatly using just these three operations so it's on order one rollback altogether right and uh, that's i guess the whole idea which is like now the things work in order log login because of uh, not having a path compression but again things like rollback and other things are now supported in order one so it, which which makes it very very efficient only the fine calls are going to become order login so that's that's mostly the idea that is used for rollback in this particular thing and if we talk about how we can generalize this i mean this particular idea can actually be generalized to a lot of stuff wherever you need to implement rollback right this stack of deltas that we have right let's say let's, this this the stack uh, doesn't really look like a stack but let's say this is the stack so even if you have something like a segmentary i mean just just giving you an like idea that if you even have a segmentary right let's say this is the segmentary and uh, we have certain we let's say made some update and that affected this cell this cell this cell right so whatever change happened let's say this was some cell number one this was cell number three this was cell number four five six seven maybe six over here so we can update that the initial value of one so this was the initial version after the update that happened one initial value was some x three's initial value was some y six initial value was z and now you have version two so you can store the size of the stack as your current version right now if you roll if you want to roll back just simply from this version size pop the elements one by one and keep the keep their previous values back so you only need to update the login elements back and you will get the previous segmentary so even in segmentary you can actually support rollback using the same kind of an idea of this stack of deltas right so this is something idea that can be generalized now it's up to you to kind of like quickly implement this this is not really that difficult compared to the other ideas that we have talked about as of now so this is the idea main idea that you have to keep in mind and with this you can actually support rollbacks for a lot of different data structures right so that's all that i had for this particular video definitely like if you are watching till this particular point because i hope this kind of idea helped you learn something new and if you uh, want definitely subscribe to the things to the channel because we have more such things coming up in fact in the next video you're going to be learning another idea which is dsu on tree and how generally like it can be thought of right and let's move on to the next video then Chalo. bye